Hey there, everybody. Um, guess what? Easter is coming. Um, so we thought it would be super fun to figure out all the different presents and gifts, all that good stuff that you could give to your children or maybe your spouse or a friend uh, just to celebrate Easter. And honestly, I think this is a gift guide that could be helpful the whole year if you're somebody who really likes to give faithful gifts. So the first one that we're going to do a review on is Choose Life. Uh, if you haven't heard of Choose Life, they're a mama-owned business. Um, they do stuff like this. This is a silicone rosary so that you can give it to your little one who just wants to throw it around and chew on it. So this is one of their big products is their full-size rosaries, but you can also get um, silicone decades, which are a bit smaller, um, but it's also cool because Here's a great way to get your children to love the rosary before they can even talk. Um, another product that Choose Life does is their rosary bracelet. So this is their Colby rosary bracelet. It's uh, a stretch and wrap, so it just goes on your wrist really easily. So the next company we want to talk about is Shining Light Dolls. I am such a big fan of Shining Light. They, oh my gosh, they have so many products that I want to buy, even though they're not age appropriate for Robbie yet. <laughs> they're just so cute and I'm so worried they're going to be gone by the time he can use them. So I'm talking, okay, they have these coloring books. They're stained glass coloring books, but they're saints that they've designed and they do them month by month. So you've got your January coloring book, your February coloring book, and like the saint of each of those days. They're so, so cute. I'm tempted to buy these so that in a couple years he can use them. Um, but some of their other products are their, their little classic dolls. They're perfect um, for kids who are starting to play with dolls um, or just play with little toys. Um, it's a... <laughs> You okay? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, that's what we wanted. Great. The next one is Be A Heart Design. If you're Catholic and you're hip, you've already heard of them. Um, they're so cool. They make such great stuff, especially baby swaddles. We don't swaddle Robbie anymore. I would probably still buy one of their blankets just so I could have one, especially their quilts. Um, but they've also got some really great stuff for adults, like socks. Who doesn't want some cute Catholic socks? And some water bottles with Maximilian Colby quotes. Uh, the next company we're talking about is Tiny Saints. I am <laughs> slightly obsessed with Tiny Saints. I don't think my husband would let me buy any more, even though they keep coming out with more <laughs> and more cool little keychains. Guys, they're the cutest thing. Okay, so here are my keys. I have two Tiny Saints keychains on my keys. I've got Our Lady of Mount Carmel, who's so adorable. And I've got St. Teresa of Avila because she is one of my absolute favorite saints. And I would like to say these are the only keychains I have, <laughs> but they're not. I have bought them for like everyone I know. <laughs> I just like can't get enough of them. They're so darling. And one of my favorite things is that they make uh, keychains for even some of the most obscure saints. Like my confirmation saint is Blessed Imelda Lambertini. Nobody knows who she is. If you don't look her up, they make her keychain. <laughs> don't be sad. We're talking about an amazing place. I'll just take them. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, something else Tiny Saints recently started doing little saint board books using illustrations that match their key charms. So they're really, really cute. <laughs> but they have one for like St. Therese of Lisieux and uh, Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati. I want them. I want them all. And you can buy them in a pack, which is awesome. Um, so the next company we're going to go into is Just Love Prints. Now I follow Just Love Prints on social media and I go to their store often just because I'm really inspired. They're a one income family. Like she does this business all on her own with her husband's support. Um, but it's really incredible what they've done. They have so many great products. I have a few, well, I have a few here on my water bottle. Um, but like this sticker, that sticker, that sticker, this sticker. So go look at Just Love Prints. She's got great stuff. The next one I want to go into is if you haven't heard about the Abiding Together podcast, definitely go listen to it. It features sister Miriam. Um, she's so good to listen to. I love that podcast. Um, something in their store that you definitely want to check out is their Saint Story Cards. It's such a neat concept, you guys. 
these Saint story cards, you can piece them together and they kind of like tell you a timeline of a saint's life. But as you're putting those that timeline together, on the flip side, it's putting all these different images of their life events together to form one big mural of the saint's life. It's so cool. It's such a great way to teach your children stories of the saints, um, but also just a fun activity, I think. Um, the next one on my list, mm, the little Catholic, you guys. Women especially, her products are so stunning. I can't get enough of them. I just like staring at them, honestly. They're so beautiful. She does dainty Catholic jewelry um, that is either just a Catholic symbol or a phrase or word. I've always liked wearing Catholic jewelry, but sometimes it's hard to find one that fits your style or I know you feel beautiful wearing and her stuff you definitely do. My favorite, personal favorite is her Fiat necklace. It's so beautiful and such a great reminder of Mary's yes to God's will. So go check out The Little Catholic. You will not regret looking at her jewelry. The next small business I wanna talk about is West Coast Catholic. This is a really, really beautiful company. Uh, they're very focused on the rosary and they make these stunning gemstone rosaries. Uh, I had a friend tell me about them. I hadn't heard of them before, but now I don't know how I didn't know about them. <laughs> she makes such beautiful rosaries, but they're so, so beautiful. I think there's one named the Sea of Galilee, which the gemstones she uses in this rosary are just gorgeous. So if you're looking for a new rosary or you have a friend coming into the church or something like that, definitely go check out West Coast Catholic Rosaries. This next one is my husband's family's, probably like one of their favorite Catholic companies out there. It's Mystic Monk Coffee. And every year for Christmas anyways, my husband's family gets uh, Jingle Bell Java, which is just really delicious. Are you kidding me? I need that coffee now. It's made by monks, why wouldn't you buy it? <laughs> the last one is Sacrilegious. Again, this is a company that sometimes I go a little overboard with because I just get so excited about like their original designs and how creative they get. Um, so I grabbed a pair of the socks my husband has. He's got a few pairs, you guys. Um, and these, I think his sister actually got these for him, but they are Our Lady of Grace, I think it is. Um, but it's a very traditional image of Mary. Um, and then on the bottom, this is the best, you guys. This is how creative they are. There's a serpent on the bottom of the sock. Basically like, I don't know, Mary crushes the head of the serpent. So let's join in and crush him too. I love these socks. They're a great gift for Easter, for any time of year. Definitely go check them out. I think they've released a couple new designs, including like a resurrection theme sock. So probably a good idea for Easter. Um, besides that, there's so many, so many great Catholic small businesses. I know I haven't included every single one, um, but hopefully you have some ideas for Easter now or for any time of year. If you've got friends coming into the church, hopefully we've been helpful. Um, we'd love to hear what you think. Comment below and definitely subscribe. Thanks guys.